What if I told you there's a game out right now with the gameplay of Squad, Hell Let Loose, Postscriptum, Project Reality, a more complex customization and progression system than Battlefield, and over 250, almost 300 player count, maps bigger than Battlefield, maps the size of Squad and Project Reality maps, a complete medic system, able to drag bodies, complete class system, support, recon, medic, assault, of course, squad leader, all different types of gadgets and tools, even stuff like a grappling hook from Battlefield 2042. What about full-on destruction? Yeah, that's right, you can level complete buildings. A complete VoIP chat system, or local chat, squad chat, command chat, just like Squad or Project Reality. This game has absolutely everything we love as Millsimmers going for it. And it may be a low poly game, sure, it's lacking in the visual department, but when it comes to gameplay, this is one of the hottest games coming to early access right now. Being created by one developer and of course a passionate community behind them, AAA studios take notice to consider this a freaking workshop. Do we really even need these AAA studios anymore with their billion dollar backed shareholders that know anything about gaming? Eat your heart out, Battlefield 2042. Welcome to BattleBit Remastered. What's up everybody and welcome back to the Mill Sim Tax Shooter and Historic Gaming Channel where we give away a Steam key to one of our lucky viewers at the end of the week every week. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that button right now and for details on how to enter the giveaway, just stay tuned. Welcome to Battle Bit Remastered, boyos. This is a game that I was testing years ago. In fact, so long ago, I don't even think the YouTube channel was up yet. At least three years ago. And even back then, all of us that were testing it and playing it knew that this game was going to be special. The single developer was paying attention to the littlest and most minute details like persistent ammo, tactical and speed reloads, dragon bodies was a feature that he had in there even before it was a thing in squad. Like I said, a single developer, I'm sure he gets help from, you know, community members. But nonetheless, it's finally back. It's kind of been like underground, closed testing for a while now. But it's back and it's on Steam, and I suggest you, right after this video, go over to Steam, download this, because there's playtests going on right now. So technically, I lied, it isn't exactly out yet, but until the 22nd of January, there's a playtest running. And then of course, we'll probably shut it down, make some changes, get an update, and tests will ensue from there. But boy oh boy man, I've spent maybe an hour or two in the game so far, and I'm absolutely blown away. Of course, it's been years since I've played, but it was really just a lot of fun. I'm surprised how much fun I've been having with it. And it makes me remember everyone being excited about Battlefield 2042. Oh man, almost hoping for like this nostalgic feel to come back again. Like when you played Battlefield for the first time, whether it was Battlefield 2 or 4, there's a certain feeling that game gave you. Well, this game, believe it or not, gives you that feeling more than Battlefield 2042 does. Oh, wee little battle bit is out here swinging for the ropes, guys. And there's like freaking 10 servers full. Like, I haven't seen any promotion or marketing for it. And somehow there's thousands of people playing it right now. Hats off to Mr. Oakley Doakley, I believe his name is, the single developer. Incredible job. But now that the man's got his due accolades, let's dive deeper into the game. Let's check out some of the mechanics some of the features, and why exactly I feel like this could be the next big thing. This is going to be one of those games like many other games we love, where the mainstream calls it dead, yet there'll be a, you know, a thousand, a couple thousand people playing it, and loving it, a cult following. But hey, like I said, for this Milsim genre to grow, it needs to grow as a genre. Keep in mind, the better this game does, the better for Hell Let Loose, the better for Squad, the better for Project Reality. I think people really need to notice that and stop pitting these indie games against each other. Instead, let's work for each other. Alright, don't get me started on that tip. Back to battle bit. My goodness, we haven't even mentioned the vehicles yet. 
Well, there's plenty of them. Here I am in a striker, I believe, and I'm attempting to back up my allied M1 Abrams here, heavy tank. Now, this is like one of the first times in a vehicle, so it's kind of weird. You can press the Z button to stabilize your turret. You can ping enemies. I mean, from what I've seen, every feature that's in squad is in here. So it doesn't take too long to get used to. Now, before we take a closer look at the customization and progression, I just wanted to show you the cockpit and HUD of the M1 Abrams. If you want to, you can pause it right here, check out the controls on the left, and the tank's loadout is pretty much all right there in the HUD. Again, just pause the video at any time you wish to get a closer look. I'm gonna try and go through this as quick as possible, keep the video short, and who knows, maybe even YouTube will share it. So I basically played like a round of engineer and leveled up, and that's when I noticed that I had the RPG. And if you look at these weapons, you can see everything is customizable from the barrel, the under barrel, the side rail, etc, etc. Progression. That's right. You only start with the AK-47 and the M4. You gotta unlock the G3, the FAL, so on and so forth. Same thing with your tools, your gadgets. It's all gotta be unlocked. Ooh, and then I saw the grappling hook. And if anyone's as old as me and remembers Loki Minions Captured the Flag mod for Quake 2, you, like me, got excited. Because that's definitely something I want to unlock. I mean, you guys know how I feel. Just give us freaking everything. But whatever. You damn kids need to feel like you're accomplishing something. So here we have progression. <laughs> here I am using a jet ski to speedily flank the last point solo. It actually works. Check it out. Cap the enemy's last point almost unattended, but right as we do, we lose the middle point, point B. So I jump on the back of my buddy's four wheeler, which I can shoot off of, and ride towards B. Here I am in a crow system on the top of a Humvee. Can somebody explain to me in the comments why Squad is no longer allowed to use the Humvee? They got, like, sued by the company, yet it's in this game. Is it because the game is free, right? I don't know. Somebody refresh my memory. All right, guys, I don't want to keep this video too long. I just really want you guys to check out the game. Battle Bit Remastered. Go to Steam. Download it. We got till the 22nd to play. Come through to the Discord. Let's get a squad together. You all know me. I could ramble on for a freaking day, probably, about this game. <laughs> But like I briefly touched on, this is the perfect game to bring people to the genre, man. It's free. It's loads of fun. Everybody loves the destruction part of it. And once these people get used to the systems, they can easily move on to games like Postscriptum, Hell at Loose, Squad, for a more immersive experience and make an easy transition. So many times gamers will buy those games and return them within two hours because they have no idea where they're getting shot from, much less do they know what the hell they're doing. Saying all that to say, support indie devs. Support this genre. Let's grow this genre as a whole. And it doesn't help when you pit games against each other like Hell at Loose for Postscriptum. It's pointless. How about buy both, you cheapskate? You could literally get Squad, Postscriptum, and Hell at Loose went on sale for cheaper than a recycled AAA game like Battlefield 2042. It's like putting lipstick on a pig year after year, and you're going to buy it year after year. Ah, let me stop. I'm rambling. Shout out to my channel members. You guys inspire me. Consider joining the ranks of the Millsimp Minions. Get cool emojis. I'm going to start doing a lot more exclusive content for the channel members. Summer's coming. Spring's right around the corner. Also, every member, even 99 cent tier, gets double the entry in the Steam Key giveaways. 25 cents a week could get you a $40 game. Or help you win a $40 game. Speaking of the giveaway, it's super easy to enter. Just like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Join us on Discord, it's linked below. The Boogie 5 Gaming Etc. Discord channel. And drop a comment. Say whatever you want. What do you think of BattleBit? Have you played it yet? But most importantly, leave your name and number. Your Discord name and number. Because that's going to work as your ticket stub. Good luck to everybody. We'll announce a winner next week. 
And as of last week, congratulations! Mr. Clumsy, you are last week's wiener. Mr. Clumsy is a channel member, and it looks like he's just going to win every week now. So everybody else just give up. No, I kid, I kid. Congratulations, Mr. Clumsy. I want to thank everybody for watching. I'll see you boys in the next one. Y'all be good to each other.